Hey guys, uh, so I'm working here. I have a couple ornaments that I need to finish, uh, but these ones are a little bit special because this is a pre-cut acrylic from Amazon. They're about 2.4 millimeters thick. So I have the design. I I centered the design and everything already. So I have one done. Uh, here it is. Now the question that everyone always ask is how you get this centered perfectly especially when it's not a laser like a galvo laser that you can move the preview and do these things so i'm going to show you what i do for alignment so there's a couple things that you can do and you can do it one time and then go with that and there's a couple other things that people prefer to do with angles and stuff like that right now i'm making one at a time because i was just testing it I'm going to make a whole bit after. Uh, the technique is going to be the same, basically. You just need to make sure how you align these things here and there. But let's see what I do here. So let me show you the file here. So the first thing that I, I can tell you, let me put this here. Uh, the first thing is I make the whole perimeter that is basically the same diameter or radius of this circle so to find the placement on the honeycomb and how it's going to be for me on the honeycomb was quite simple uh, in my case I use my handy find the center tool and I want to show you how I work with this right now okay so this is the tool that I made for these ornaments so you are going to put this one here like so and you're gonna rotate actually this a couple times around it and I want to show you why so you just grab a pen and you do a line don't press much you just you just want to mark uh, on the clear layer that this comes to protect it you just want to make a little mark in there you don't want to scratch your acrylic so I want to do it like this couple of times that's it so I have this mark in here so this is the center of the circle It's not the center of the whole element it's just the circle in here which is 69 uh, millimeters in diameter so that diameter radius remember that in all around it is a circumference or perimeter for x2 but uh, I'm using the CO2 laser from Reno, uh, from Monoport, the Reno 45 Watt Pro, uh, to cut the acrylic, and it cuts super nice and clean. So let me show you how I align this, my software, and on the laser. So, on the software, let me show you this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase this one so you can see it, everything from scratch. So on the software I have this and I put it on the edge because I want to align it with my uh, honeycomb and that way I have something to fix this in place. This is not something that I do pretty often so I'm not making a jig for this. But I want to make sure that this is aligned. So the first thing that I do is I move my laser. So I click here. Let's select this guy. I'm selecting the outer circle. I click in here. In move selection 2. And I select to move laser, not move element, move laser to selection center. Okay, move the laser head, it's home right now, move it to the selection center. So now that you move to the selection center, it should be in the center of this entire area. So let's see here. So my laser move there. So I'm gonna put you like this so you can see it uh, better. So the laser is there and you will see the light, your red dot to align your laser. So you have this one with a center and this was already measured and all that. So I just need to make sure that this is on the top and this is completely on the frame. So now this is perfectly centered. Now if I need to make another one, I wanna make I wanna make more than one. So I'm gonna put one here. And you can do one, two, three, four, whatever you need. So we're gonna make one here right now. So, if you want to make another one, all you have to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you here. So 
So all you have to do is I want to copy this design. See, select your design, you copy the design, and I'm gonna move it here. So just to make sure that I'm aligned with this design, same height that that it is important for me right now. Here you go. I'm aligned there. I start moving it and hold shift so I can move it on the same path. So I wanna put this here. So I wanna show you how it is. This is the outer rim. This is the exact size that I have basically my area. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go again to selection, uh, move selection, and I'm gonna say move laser to selection center. So now the laser moved to an empty place. So there is two options here. You can use another one with a mark, or you can also use a clean one, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna use a clean one to show you how. Okay, so I have one that is marked already. So this one, I can take it out. That's the position of the laser, it's not gonna change. So I'm gonna put my clean one where that one's before. So just make sure that it is straight. Now I'm gonna grab the one that is marked. So you mark only one. Make sure that it is straight. And this is now against the laser. So I can see that the laser is a little bit shift to the right. So I'm gonna push my artwork a little bit. So what I'm gonna do here, and this is just because my configuration, I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna move the whole design, not, not just the outer rim, the whole design. I'm gonna move it just at that. Now that it's there, I'm not touching nothing over there. I just go again here, and I'm going to select move laser to selection center. Now I'll go check. Oh, a little more. So just a little more. There, again, move laser to selection center. There it is, and these two are perfect. So, basically I put two. I can repeat the operation. Yes, the first time will take you some time, but let's say that you can put 20 in your bed. You make 20, you save the file, then come back with 20 more, you put 20 in the same place, in the same way you did it. You don't, you don't need to mark everything again, because they are the same size, they are, everything is the same. So you just lay everything just in the same way you did it before and you run your laser just focus everything to make sure that everything works and you just run your laser once you have that going you can mass produce these and one of the beauties of the reno 45 watt is that uh the pro version it has this awesome control panel so let me show you this really quick i hope you guys can see it light is not great but the information of what's going on is in here so if you remove all the blanks and put new blanks, you press start and automatically start doing it again. You don't need your computer anymore, so you can just batch produce everything. So connect your air uh, purifier to this because it's acrylic and it will smell. In my case, not just running that, but just in case I have my garage open because I don't want to smell it. But yeah, you can mass produce this and let me show you this again. It's, they're nice, they're really pretty, you know, very simple, very easy to make, and you can you can put anything in the text. In this case, it's just for a bunch of friends and family that are coming for Christmas, uh, but absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous gift. So, check the Reno 45 Watt uh, Pro with Monoport. Uh, they have a really good pricing. It's, I've been always skeptical about getting a CO2 because I didn't have the space and all that kind of stuff. But it's, I mean, it's a desktop. Look at that. So, you have it. If you like the mini tutorial, how to align your stuff on a honeycomb and everything, let me know. Click on the little bell so you get the notifications. 
subscribe, share the love with everyone, and fire the laser. Yes, in Christmas.